I've looked at this entire journey as, as my journey of healing. As my kids got older, I, I wanted to be around for them for a long, long time. And so I knew it was important to start making my own health a priority. I was fortunate enough that when I chose a doctor through Hendricks Regional Health and they had referred me to ultimately the mammogram services, there was already amazing doctors that were in place ready to to take on my care. After that first mammogram, I got the phone call saying, we've seen something that we're just not totally comfortable with. I went in April and did the second level of diagnostic screenings the same day they sent me to the ultrasound. That's when I started to take a pause and realize maybe there was something to worry about. From the time we did the MRI and really understood the area of involvement, the pathology uh, results came back and showed that um, I had actually had triple positives, so ER, PR, and HER2 positive breast cancer um, with an involvement of about a seven centimeter area in my um, right breast. I remember just feeling sort of um, not really understanding still what was actually happening because in my mind, I couldn't have cancer. Dr. Bowling's office was really the first stop for me. I cannot say enough about Dr. Bowling and her nurse, Patty, and the office staff there. They were amazing. Dr. Bowling pulled her chair up and sat right in front of me, had a piece of paper and drew pictures and explained exactly what she was drawing. Her main concern in that room was making sure that I had all the information I needed. She knew much better than I did what I was getting ready to face. You're learning that uh, you've been diagnosed with an illness, which is so strange to feel well and be told that you have um, a disease that potentially can kill you. In hindsight, that day was probably the most significant life-changing day. And I look at it kind of like in seasons. So, you know, there was the season of chemo, there was the season of the double mastectomy, there was the, the season of radiation, and then there's the season of survivorship. And so through each season, you get exposed to different care team members and they've all been equally wonderful. And so it just speaks to the culture that they work within and um, it has definitely been a blessing to me throughout this journey for sure. I would tell anyone that is hesitant to get the testing, ignorance is not bliss. Sometimes we avoid things because we don't want to know the answer. It empowers you to really take the next steps to do what's needed for your own health. And while that outcome could be scary, no one fights alone. I'm a living testimony that I have had that support for the entire duration of, of every season, all the way through survivorship. There has been people there to help navigate the unknown, and it was all unknown in the beginning.